Oh, you have to be kidding me. What? It's the last time for these six girls to tweak a robot named Bod. We started out practicing, and then there's like something wrong, of course, because that's just how it goes. <laughs> and so <laughs> we've got to fix stuff. This group is the only all girls team competing this weekend at the Robotics State Tournament. People kind of underestimate us because, like, I mean, everybody's pretty much equal. It's just you choose what you want to do. Which led these girls choosing to join robotics for their first year. We just work together and we find ways to solve things as a team. They're not just building a robot, they're also building life skills. We learn from our mistakes and that we all get to do it together. Doing it together as friends, but each of them adding a special piece to the team. Well, me and like Grace are like kind of like the scouts and we like, at like robotics tournaments, we go and like ask questions. Questions about how things work, just like they asked me dozens today about our equipment. Oh, by the way, it has a number on it. She explained that one. <laughs> what does it do? With curiosity for how things work around them, these girls are trying to break the stereotype. I like building stuff, like I build Legos a lot. Now with the state tournament hours away, Team Pink is putting on their rhinestone goggles and tightening those bolts and singing their theme song. Don't stop believing. All the while with girl power. In Mankato, Barrett Anderson, KEYC News 12.